Welcome back to Rebuild Yourself. We're going to do some really crappy boxing. No, seriously, crappy boxing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at it. I suck at the video work. I suck at the audio work. Unless, of course, you really like hearing someone breathe all up in your ear all crazy like. But the video is actually significantly short compared to the workout. Go ahead. Do it. I dare you. And be sure to subscribe because I will get better at this stuff. Promise. Here in my garage. No, literally. That's where we're at in my garage. As you can see here, there's the green screen in which is there. Um, lighting sucks, but we're not here for lighting. We are here for boxing. Yes, boxing. We're going to do some boxing today. The only thing you need is your body. A jump rope is something you can use, but you can do all the jump rope actions without a jump rope. And in case you're wondering, this right here, it's not be cool. It's not be cool. I don't care about the cool thing, but it has two purposes. One, keep sweat out of my eyes. It'll absorb it and then I can keep going. And two, maybe cover up my baldness a little bit, give you a little break of the baldness. And for boxing, it'll be a circuit-based training. So I'll just let you know how many rounds. I'm only gonna record one round of each exercise and I'll let you know how much to do to complete the full exercise. That way this video is not gonna be a million years long. So starting with this warm up, we're gonna jump rope 20 seconds, 20 seconds. And then we'll immediately go into the next exercise. 20 seconds. Uh, I don't jump rope, I don't jump rope. You can do the same exercise without a jump rope. Yeah. Okay. Twenty seconds. Orthodox straight combo. So orthodox in boxing is left foot forward. And you, when you punch, you want to kind of turn your wrist inward, and that'll give you a nice strong punch. Whew. I think I went over 20. Oh, well, we get extra. Okay, now the V slip. 20 seconds of that. You go up and down. Okay, this is gonna. Apparently work your legs. I don't do this. I don't do this. This is so awkward to me. <sighs> Just a warm up. Nothing super fierce. Nothing fierce. Grab our jump rope here. 20 seconds of running jump rope. This is gonna end badly, guaranteed. Ah, not too bad. Okay. We got this. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Okay. Ah. Get a couple more seconds. We're done. 20 seconds. Orthodox flurry uppercats. You're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew. Was that 20? Don't know. Okay, now before the actual workout, we're gonna have a mild 30 second break. Get water. Re-oxygenize or something. And like I said, with, uh, with boxing, that's when you can use to initially start your stuff out. Um, hence, you know, a lot of punching. The jump rope, if you can't jump rope, don't use jump rope, just do the motion. Before you jump, get those, um, your leg muscles to get something going. And, uh, all right, so now we're gonna do V-slip again, 30 seconds. 
Now, you don't have to go fast. You don't have to be a fast person. You can go slow until you get the thing, the rhythm, the motion. Uh, with every workout you do, you want to get form. Form is a million times better, more important than your speed. Okay, and then immediately into the next one, squat steps. Squat, squat, pretty easy, simple, simple. I don't need the gym, that was jacked up. Bringing out the jump rope, side jump rope step things. So we're gonna do this motion, like the ski jumper thing, and attempt to jump rope it. Ah! Fail, 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 fail. I was retarded. Okay, now southpaw, straight combo. Just a straight punch. Both your, when you do southpaw, your right leg is forward. And we got four more. Okay, take 30 seconds. You're gonna do this three more times. Um, I'm not gonna record the next three times so that we don't have an X. A lengthy video, um, but go ahead and uh, do those three more times, and I'm gonna start our next round as soon as I'm done with these. Sure, hope you took the 30 second break between each round. It's important. Okay, we're gonna do a orthodox left, right, no, left, left, right, left, right, left. So, left, left, right. Left, left, right. Okay, that's how we're gonna start. Left, right, left. Your rights are gonna be your hooks. Okay. And go. Left, left, right. Left, right, left. Left, left, right. Left, right, left. Left, left, right. Okay. Now this is where you can really get that stuff, that heart rate up when you're a beginner. Jump rope jacks. So, oh, screw it. Evil, evil. Ah. Okay, let's take some practice, maybe larger area. I'll do this outside next time. Okay, don't know why I put this down, because now we just got crossover. This is good. 30 seconds, again. No. Oh. Coordination. Jeebus, jeebus. Here we go. Progress. How'd that happen? Okay. 30 second break. Again, do those same exercises three more times. Okay. We'll see you in the next, I believe, last set. Last series thing. Or something. Next up, continuous crossover. I don't think I can do this. Ah! We, we got it. We got it. Okay. Full step. 
you know what? I'm gonna take my own advice and do this without a jump rope. See? It's a thing. It's a freaking thing. Orthodox flurry uppercuts. You're just gonna do like a circle. If you wanna fail it a little bit more, you can actually do some punches. I prefer these when I'm just doing uppercuts. But the point of the this is to get the get you in the habit of bringing them back. But you can go fast. But since we're just starting out, you don't need to go fast. Okay, now we're gonna jump right into orthodox build by two uppercuts. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting. Okay, take your 30 second break. Do these things one more time. Now that we've done, <coughs> complete those, we're gonna go into a brief cool down, a little bit of a jog, mild jog, walk and play, step, whatever. I have no idea where my focus is on this. This is why I need a friend. <sighs> you can limp all that there. Okay. I still gotta run after this. I haven't rang yet. Okay. Okay. Whew. Then you've seen this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Give the world a hug. I guess. Whew. I have no idea what this looks. <coughs> okay. So. That's all I do for cool down. And then I like to do some pretty good stretches that focus on my lower back and my legs. So this is pretty basic. Lean all the way down as far as you can. Obviously, I'm, my flexibility is shite. <sighs> Touch the ground, palms down if you can. I can't. I cannot. <sighs> you know, eight to 15 seconds. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do this. Pretty, pretty basic. All basic stuff. This is all basic right here. And uh, since I've been immobile for so, I've immobilized myself for a minute, I'm gonna start with basic. Even though I know where I've been, I'm gonna start with basic and then move from there. Okay. I'm gonna lift up slowly. Head's gonna come last. Otherwise, I'll get dizzy. And then uh, with a stool or something, if you're not flexible, on, oh boy, that didn't happen. If you're not flexible enough, you can use a stool. And this will get a big, bit of a deeper stretch. You can do a bit of a deeper stretch. Same way, but uh, it's a little less comfortable. Comfortable. Same side. So when I say I've literally done nothing and eaten crap, I have. But I got to about as far as uh, gone as I was mentally capable of going to. And then I had to turn around and start from there. Um, uh, this is just me, you don't have to do this. Now we're gonna go to the floor, so I'm just gonna move you. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so on the floor, I'm gonna do this one. And obviously not get very far. I'm gonna grab these and pull myself in a bit. Man, I really suck with camera work. Okay, then each side, I'm gonna grab this side. And up and over, a bit of yoga. I wanna go more, but I can't. But I can't. And I'm using 
this arm to pull me over a bit more. Okay, same thing other side. And I can go about as far crappily. This is such a weird angle. Such a bad angle. Oh. Now there's also this little guy, which I kind of like. So I'm going to take my right leg under me, my left leg back, and I'm just going to lean forward. Um, almost like a child pose, but uh, with one knee under me and the other one, the other leg straight back. Okay. Switch sides. See, just like this. Actually, this view is way better. Way better. Way better. Okay. Whenever you're coming out of stretches, do so gently. Because you just stretched your muscle. And seeing as your muscles are an elastic band, you stretch them out to a breaking point. If you release it real fast, that's how you can potentially injure yourself. Same thing with if you're not warmed up and you stretch it, you're gonna tear. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and do that all again. You can do it too. Um, we'll see ya. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. I'm trying to be awesome. I got some ideas for. Well, so you thought this was dumb? So did I. Well, let's keep doing some more dumb stuff to eventually be smarter. And do those dumb things smarter? Or